Morning, everybody. Happy New Year's, and I hope you guys had a safe and wonderful holiday. I appreciate you guys all being here. If you are new to the channel, please smash the subscribe button down there. Give me a like at the end of the video, and please check back. I have hundreds of videos out there on various different vehicles and trucks and everything like that. The last month or so, we've been focusing on the half tons and which one I think might be the best. Well, I can tell you this much. I've been enjoying the Ford Power Boost, the new F-150, and today we're going to talk about fuel economy. So, as you guys know, I've mentioned this before, fuel economy has a lot of different things that go into it. A lot of it has to do with the truck, but on the other side, it has to do with your driving habits. Now, some people have said, I can't believe you got that kind of fuel economy in a 6.6 LAT Chevy, and I can't believe you got that in a 7.3 Godzilla. Keeping in mind, in the owner's manual, guys, it does say, depending on the octane of fuel that you use, in addition to your driving habits, it will directly, uh, you know, affect your fuel economy. So I always drive all of those trucks in Eco. Obviously the LAT didn't have that, so I just drove it in normal mode. It had tow and normal. Um, and I always use premium fuel. So you can use the, lo the minimum lowest grade that the book says you can, um, but that will affect your fuel economy. Now I traditionally use 91 octane or ethanol free or clear gas. And people have asked me, what the hell is clear gas? I don't have that out here. You may not have that out here in Colorado. Clear gas is completely ethanol free. As we know, uh, ethanol basically is kind of like a, a dilution of the regular fuel. Uh, they use it for various different reasons, but sometimes that does affect your fuel economy. So here we have no ethanol. Now some ethanol or clear gas is 88 octane. This one happens to be 87, or I will traditionally use 91. Now, I think in most of the vehicles these days, they ask you to use 87 octane, but I always use one of these two. But because I can't get this everywhere, most of the time it is 91. So I just got done throwing down about, we'll look at the meter in here, 343.3 miles uh, on the power boost. I had some in-town driving, several remote starts because it's been cold as a biscuit out here. Um, and so it's just been one of those things where, you know, all of that goes into it. Now, Ford sometimes won't, and some of these guys won't equate on the instantaneous fuel economy gauge in there. They won't equate your remote starts. So just keep that in mind. You might be like, oh, wow, it seems like my, I get in and it said I had 24 yesterday or whatever. And now it says I have less. Well, it's because you still use fuel to remote start that. So don't get your hopes up. So let's uh, get inside and talk about some numbers. All right, so another great thing about most of these trucks, guys, again, and this is why I'm pro gas for these days, these gas trucks just do so well, and most of them are gonna meet your requirements for towing your trailers is idling. When it's cold as hell, wherever you're at, and you pull up someplace and you gotta wait 25 minutes for my gym to open, which I do quite frequently, or you, it's just been cold snap or whatever, you can idle a gas engine with basically zero issues. If you do that with a modern diesel, you can expect more regens, potential DPF issues, potential EGR clogging earlier. You got to keep in a lot of that stuff. So I really enjoy the Godzilla. I love the 6.6 LAT. That's my favorite truck of 2023, even though it was a 2024. So now we're going to talk about real life numbers. Again, I've had some people say, well, if you got 18 in the Godzilla, then you must have gotten 40 in the power boost. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. If it gets crap fuel economy, I'm going to tell you. Um, I'm surprised about most of the modern diesels, and I know most of it's because the emissions get so poor compared to what they used to. If you had an old 12 valve, you could bang out probably 23, 25 miles a gallon if you had a manual transmission. I mean, just in normal driving. And we all know that fuel economy is going to dip when you start towing. And I will tell you this much. No matter what you have out there, when you're on the highway, if it's a hybrid, the hybrid shines in town, okay, at speeds probably under 45, and you might be thinking, oh, that's stupid, then it doesn't help. Well, I can tell you this much. The other day, I took a 19, almost 19-mile 19 trip. Half of that was an electric. Keeping in mind, the truck ran for 41 minutes. That's how traffic is here in Colorado. It's complete trash. So... You can't go start your truck in the driveway and run it for 40 minutes and come out and have your fuel economy range say that it was getting, you know, 22 miles a gallon. Some people will say that. Some people will say, well, I could get 23 in my Cummins diesel. Okay, maybe you can. I haven't. I haven't seen that in a while. Uh, on an oddity in the in uh, the last Ironhead we had on the channel, I did get, uh, I think, 21 or 22, which is exceptionally good. But just as a totality of those numbers... 19 miles, 
40 minutes of, of driving, half that electric, the average fuel economy was 35 miles a gallon. It didn't hardly take anything. It was in town. It was a lot of stop and go. But keep in mind, if you reset any other uh, diesel, you know, and tried to drive that, just the 40 minutes of running, it's not going to get that. And that's what just blows me away about the power boost. So let's take a look here. So the last trap I took, it had some city to start. Um, let's go back here. Let's get back to trip one. Had some city. It had uh, half of the 200 miles roughly was, I keep bumping the damn switch here. Um, half of that was at 75 mile an hour. The rest of it was at 65. And I did do the speed limit, no speeding. Um, and I uh, averaged, according to this, was 25.5 miles the gallon over 343.3 miles and we have six hours 29 minutes of running so again what's cool about this truck is is it's warm in the city i'm going to the gym in the morning and i have to get there and sit and wait well typically i would probably shut the truck off if it was a diesel because i don't want to mess with that baloney having issues and that's just been something i've been doing since they came out that crap in 2008 is not excessively idling any of my diesels but what i like about this one is and because it's heat the heat is basically wasted energy uh in in the uh, to heat the cabin is I'll pull up and this thing will go into hybrid mode, still running, fan, radio, everything, running only on electric, and it'll go about 12 minutes before it restarts for about a minute, and then it'll shut back down, only enough to charge the batteries enough so that I can keep running them. So really, it doesn't even run on gas for most of the stuff. Um, and so I really, really do enjoy that. And I can't get that with any other vehicle. We drive GMC half tons at work with the 5.3 in them. The best, best, best I've ever got um, in kind of the similar type of mix of driving was about 18.9, which isn't bad um, out of a, any pickup, but I think the power boost just scores big. Again, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I put good fuel. I drive light. I drive an eco. So how do I squeeze these kind of numbers out? That's up to you. Uh, how I squeeze them out is because of my driving habits and the kind of fuel that I use. But keep in mind, guys, I'm not brand loyal, so I don't gain anything by blowing smoke up your old Kahuki. So let's take a look at this. I hand calculated it. This is saying that over this trip, I got 24.3 miles to the gallon. Now... As you can see, pump took 13.4 gallons to fill. We crank over here, so 343.3 divided by 13.4 is 25.61 miles to the gallon. Now, keeping in mind, I had several remote starts in here too, and the truck is saying I'm getting 24.3. Now, I think that is damn good considering I'm going 75 mile an hour, everything like that. Now, I noticed um, once you get over 45, the, the usual potential of it going into electric is very slim however i did have about three miles when i was doing 55 and i was coming into a town it was downhill went into full hybrid and it, it kept 55 miles to the hour until i was able to you know get to the slower speed limits and i slowed down stayed in electric but that is the awesomeness of this engine and um and i'm really enjoying it now i have always told you guys when i buy the truck new i keep trip two to myself uh, you know, just, I never reset it until the time I get rid of it. Let's see what it's saying I'm getting overall. So trip two, we got 2,324.8 miles, 556 of that's been electric. It's been running almost 80 hours. Um, and we are getting 23.4 miles a gallon. So I got to give it to Ford here on this because their window sticker says 2323. That's what it's going to claim it's going to get. It is getting that according to this meter. Although I can tell you based on the hand calculations, typically they're within 0.2 or two tenths of what of accuracy, I guess, if you will. And um, so the fact that this is actually lower than what I'm getting, I am super tickled. Again, I average in my tr drive to work, which is mostly 55 and under about 27, 28 miles the gallon. I, I haven't even seen that and even the Kia Sorento I had was getting about that and this is a full-size pickup so I just think it's pretty outstanding when it comes to that and um, and I've really really enjoyed doing that and again guys how you hand calculate that is just go take one of your trip uh, computers reset it to zero fill the tank go drive as far as you want uh, usually 5 10 20 30 miles under 100 miles is going to give you a lot of great data the further you can travel um, it's going to be more uh, accurate when you figure it out so after you've driven that certain amount of miles take the total miles that you've driven on that trip go fill it back up 
and then take the miles divided by the gallons and that's going to tell you your fuel economy. And if you ever want to try it, putting lower grade in there and seeing how much that directly affects it, you know, it, it may affect it some. I don't know. I don't put that kind of fuel in here. But I really do think that this is a fantastic thing. Now, the hybrid itself does have a... Um, kind of like a this trip type computer and I found that uh, that's fairly accurate also uh, typically again it resets itself every time the truck restarts so it's hard to collect that data if you don't remember to, to to do it but most people aren't going to be filling up at the same time that they remember to shut that off so I always just use trip one I reset it every time so that way I can log it again watching fuel economy is another way to find out if the engine starting to run differently because if all of a sudden you go drop say 20% on your fuel economy what's changed with the engine what's going on and everything like that so this was so far we are 2300 miles in and the fuel economy is excellent and before we go guys I know a lot of guys say well I don't really care I don't buy a full-size pickup for fuel economy I buy it to tow and do this well again this truck is rated 11,000 pounds I have no doubt that it can do whatever it needs to do when it comes to those those numbers um, I think that's a little high for a half ton trying to push 11,000 pounds but keeping in mind <clears throat> if you can have comfort in a truck and you can have abilities in a truck and you can get good fuel economy that's not a bad perk it's not something that you should just scoff at because no matter how many people buy a one ton dually diesel and say well I bought this truck to tow and I don't really care about fuel economy they still will come out and say well I'm getting 22 miles a gallon it is important to people and so guys Always remember, I'm trying to give you the truth here on the channel. I do appreciate you being here. Let's help uh, Automotive Inc. have a wonderful year by always checking out the video. Smash the subscribe button if you're new. And if you have been a patron of the channel for a while now, I thank you guys so much. God bless, and we are going to see you on the next one.